Hi, welcome to this Tower Love Reading. My name is Sophia, welcome to this community. <clears throat> so, uh, what I was getting was um, the same kind of energy which I've had the past couple of days of one in changing, one in changes, and um, wanting things to work out with your connection, but nothing's happening. And I also got with that, it's like upstairs was saying like, well, heed the call which um, is like answer what they're telling you to do and you may think well I'm not getting the correct downloads or ego you keep saying it's ego Sophia or I don't know what to do but you do if you're in this community you do know what to do and the very least is you know what you're doing is not correct so that in essence means you know that you're not on track and you do know what to do you know what you have to do is make changes, but you're simply not doing it. So that's what I'm getting. I just want to say um, that this weekend I'm going away. I've been harping on about it, but I'm very excited. It's my first um, uh, break away with David. That's probably why. Um, um, but also it's my birthday. Um, so I'll try to pre-record some uh, tower readings because... Uh, you might be a couple of days where I'm not posting, but I prefer to do them on the day. I, I just like that because we live in the now, so I like to do it for the now. I, I, I notice my pre-recorded uh, uh, readings I'm not happy about. You might not really recognise it. Um, but anyway, so if there's a few gaps next week, I'm pre-warning uh, pre you there might be. Also, I was picking up the you're going to recognise, this is nothing to do with your journey, it's a sideline, but um, you do listen to tower readers. You might recognise in that some tower channels, particularly established channels, are going to be closing. Because, like I say, it's a hobby. They're not actually doing it as mission. And realistically, if you're not getting money from it, it's ego, all eyes on you. doesn't matter if you've got 500,000 subscribers, a million subscribers. If you're not gaining anything from it, and um, that's the whole... If you li go onto my uh, website, onto the mission page, and the first quote I put is, who says that um, people who are um, spiritual leaders or masters have to... Um, don't get paid who, who said that what, what rule book says that and i think in this day and age it's not a point of oh i've got a five hundred thousand subscribers i'm a, a master teacher so i'm not asking for money i'm not getting paid no one's booking them that's it no one's booking their service because there's a couple of things and i'll be honest with you i would like to say you're not booking them because you know they're chatting shit it's not that you're not booking people uh, the population the people on youtube is not big booking loads of tower readers now because you've got too much choices so you feel you don't need to right before it'd be like oh this tower reader is so spot on i'm gonna book her but then you get someone who says something slightly similar to that one that's why there's less um, bookings now so the established tower readers they're going to be closing their channels or changing it to oh I, i've decided to go in another direction and you're going to but it's not going to be a decrease of tower readers because of there's still going to be loads of new tower readers but they will still quit because they're going to look up to the ones we've got the five hundred thousand subscribers they're only getting 10 20 30 views and then even if they get a hundred or thousand they're going to think this isn't good enough they're still not going to get booked themselves so the actuality is no one's booking to our readers anymore and that's um in my opinion well if they're saying listen book me but i'm not going to help you with your journey it's just going to be another version of this and make it clear which you kind of know but you don't you expect by them giving you another tower reading that that's going to happen right but some tower readers are clear but you're so you're it's a confusion a delusion of well because they're so spot on with what's happening they're going to be spot on with what the potential outcome is that's where you lot fuck up with listening to tower readers and tower readers right because the potential means that you you can get that, but you have to work on yourself. 
They normally tell you the potential of something without telling you what to do. Some people do. I'm not cussing out all tower readers. Some tower readers say, well, you have to work on yourself. But I remember when I started this journey and they said, you have to A, work on yourself and B, love yourself actually and C, the inner child. All of them, I was like, what the fuck is that? I have no idea. How do I even start in a child? I had no idea what that was. Self-love, I didn't know what love was because I knew my upbringing was uh, fucked up. And work on myself, what do, you, what do you mean? I had no idea. So they just say things without actually giving you the backbone, the back in, the back up people to help you to do it. That's this community, if you, it's up to you. So, um, okay, the Ace of Cups. All right, I'm just going to jump straight in like this. That's what I'm told. All right. Uh, mm. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. Ace of Cups, Chariot, Two of Wands. So... The aces are hands from the clouds. That's generally what the aces look like in tarot, right? The hands from the cloud, meaning a gift. So someone is gifting you, which is upstairs because it's from clouds, gifting you a new start in love. My ace of cups is the masculine hand. But I feel that this is what you want. You want your person to come and give some version of love to you but realistically why should they just because they're twin flame why should they do that that's what i've been saying in my readings lately ask yourself why i love pets oh wow i saw this dog yesterday massive dog his beautiful dog I would never, that mean I'm going to have it. I have no interest in having any pets, right? They're hard work. Just because there's love, just because you're twin flame, doesn't mean that you're going to just get that gift, is what this is, the Ace of Cups, the first one. The Chariot, and this is, until you understand that, <laughs> right, this won't move forward. And the Ace, like I said, the, the contract, the Ace of Cups is a contract from upstairs. Ace of Cups, Chariot, Two of Wands. It's a contract, right? And with the Two of Wands here. Contract of the Twin Flame. That's what this is. And it's like you're, you're, not, you're just wanting your person to just come and emotionally fulfill you. Because underneath the Ace of Cups is the Ten of Cups. You could be also waiting for your person to express it. It's like you just feel that love because it's a hand, right? You, you feel with your hands. You feel that love, but you're waiting for them to express it before you move forward. But I listen to some tarot readers, not all of them, but one in particular. And she, at the end of her reading, she's always saying, "I, um, I love you." At the end, right? Or you know, what is it? Yeah, something like you know, uh, I'll catch you at my next reading. Love you all. Bye. And love is, um, it's such a. It's like she's giving out her love to anybody. I don't know her. She doesn't know me. She's not understanding what she's saying. And this is this. It's like love is quite a precious thing. You can't just flood it out and give it to anybody. It's a gift, right? To feel an emotionally connected and love someone. And why you fell is you bunny hop from each. I love this tower reader. I love that tower reader. This planet isn't about that. This is about find who you resonate with and stick with that. 
it is supposed to be all it is is love, which it is all is it all we need is love. But this planet is corrupted. You can't say to everybody, "I'm just open up your energy to them." I don't know why I'm getting that, but this is to do with this. It's to do with you're just thinking you love this one, love that one, and you're not focused on. Yes, yeah, scatterbrain, which is lack mentality. Need the money program. If you join mission, you get that free. You, well, you get most of the, well, you have to buy the book anyway. This is to do with seven of cups is here. That's correct. Many hands and many pies. Loads of, doing loads of things, but work building up to nothing. Seven of Cups. And that's you. Um, loads of tower readings. Um, loads of Reiki sessions. I don't think people book Reiki sessions. I've never had anyone who said they've booked a Reiki session. L loads of crystals. Uh, loads of um, um, counselling. And it's like, focus on the big gift that you have, the big purpose. The bigger purpose. Not all these, that's the lack mentality. A, a rich mentality, and this is um, connected with, that's why I'm always talking about rich and poor. And that's why I made the money program. This is like a poor person does this, 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 loads of little things. A rich person focus is on one thing. It might have loads of elements within that one thing. Until that is completed, then goes on to the next. And a poor person thinks, oh, well, a rich person multitasks. We do, but at one thing at a time. One thing, 100% focused on this. Then we'll go on to say I was doing this tower reading. I'm 100% focused on this. Say I'm making another deck of cards. Then when I finish this, then I'll 100% focus on, the uh, on the making another deck of cards. Poor people, this is what they do. They're like, okay, I'm doing a tower reading, but hold on, I just got an idea about my deck of cards, so I'm just going to write it down. You're not 100% focused on this. It's a completely different. But you, th this is um, seeing things, but not going deeper into it. Like you think, you see the concept of rich people multitasking, but your version of multitasking is, is um, why you have scattered brain. Why you have a stress and depression and stuff. Because you're you're not 100% focused on it. And that's what this is with this connection. 100% focus on the connection and how you feel with love. And focus on that. Not what other people are saying, what things. The main thing, why I move forward with David. I always came back when there's baby's mum drama or... I thought he wasn't coming towards me, not emotionally opening up, left in the dark, whatever, right, whatever. I had, the, I had, I'll say, and have, let's just say, the same situations as you. Then I'll go, oh, it's not that, but I'll say it because it came to me. I'll go into my heart space. It's not really that, but it is. It's like, is there anyone else that's going to make me feel like that? No. Have you met people and do they make you feel like that? Yes, I have and no, they don't, right? Do you know literally you're supposed to be with your twin flame? Yes, I do. Those are the questions I ask. The ace of cups, the ten of cups. That makes all the other little small things irrelevant. And this is because of your upbringing. This is how you were taught. This is was... It's like I always say on my channel, I would love to have, I think about, I say I don't want kids and um, I would love to have that kids with um, David, let's just say now. But I wish I, I could have that if I wasn't so entrepreneurial and I wasn't so busy. If I would just focused on the child, I would happy to have a child. Because I'm not like that. 
um i i feel like i i have more to offer in my life it's not to do with the child really more i want to do is why i don't want to have the child and this is you lot I'll, I'll just have a child and i'll do other things which doesn't make up to the massive bigger picture of this divine connection i have so what i'll do is i'll do reiki acupuncture care assistant nursing and that instead to make up to try to make this that ace of cups and the ace of cups is literally did i say it yesterday i apologize if i'm repeating it i do a lot of readings and talking to people about mission i, I saw a video and a woman the title was why a man shouldn't move in i think i said this and it's not to do with the man moving in it's to do with it's like because when the man move in the woman has the kid and then you're stuck and your life is over that's what this old biddy body was saying it's like no if a man moved in here man or woman doesn't matter whoever i was in love with moved in with me but i'll say a man because we're talking about kids and they want to have kids with me i'll be like i'm not ready so they can't fuck up my life. This is the same shit that woman was talking about, like narcissism. Oh, you've ruined my life. No, if someone comes living with me and they start controlling me, uh, fuck off out the door. No one can control your life. And this is this. You, you're you doing things in the lack mentality of little bit, little bit, instead of bigger picture. Now, if you have children, yeah, you can still join us in mission and allow me to help you to still work on the bigger picture this is it this bullshit of work life balance this is this reading so far i don't know why i'm getting this but <coughs> this bullshit of work life balance is exactly that bullshit there isn't it's called a sacrifice like i said to david i said even if we were millionaires i still wouldn't have kids because they'd be attached to the nanny which i would hate or if they weren't attached to the nanny they will still come running to me and I will feel guilty that they were with the nanny all the time. That's this. Bigger picture looking at it. Not just, oh, I'm just going to have a kid because I love this guy. When realistically, most people, including yourself, just have kids with people just because. It's not long term because if you really love that person, really love that person, then you'll you'll surely you'll have an element of what I say about with David. Like I just want to chill with that person. You know that that's going to change having a child in a dynamic. And I keep picking up about children, but the children in the sun guard. So this is a, this Ace of Cups is here to teach you the first card to go within with the chariot, the principal laws of cause and effect, as within, so without. To go within to recognize your ace of cups how do you get your ace of cups what do you have to sacrifice to get that ace of cups instead of just like you know what i'll just buy 20 crystals and i'll think i'll get my ace of cups because it's not happening it's not happening for you that's part of your path two of wands two of wands the guy is wise he's older he's an elderly girl elderly guy so it's about wisdom and feeling your world your world really feeling that it's it's a it's a horrible thing to say but i'll say it i don't give a shit and if you unsubscribe if you subscribe at call who gives, who gives a fuck most women have kids to nail the man that's it to try to keep that man it's that and the other reason is because they they use a kid as like a life like that will be my life i'm like why can't you just get a life or have a kid but make sure you have this conversation with the man because this this elderly woman who had no fucking idea with the title of don't move in with a man right no idea what stupid shit chat she was on about not not logicating at all because uh she said when the man moves out he's fine I'm like, David ain't fine. He's moved out. He has to work two shifts because a woman have kids with him. Who was never in a relationship. Okay, one baby's mum said she thought she was, right? But um, seeing him for a couple of mums, I don't class that as a fucking relationship. No, right? Even if he said I were in a relationship. 
two months after meeting a man and having a kid is not a relationship, right? The other one, I like to hear both sides of the story. But so far, David has said he wasn't in relationship with these people. Regardless if they say yes, we were or not, I know factual he wasn't even living with any of them. So what is these two women, such as many, many women, having kids with people they're not even in living with, right? Even if he did or didn't say he was uh, in a relationship with them. So this is what women normally do, is just have all these kids. And even if you've done that, yeah, okay, you've done that. You might have been asleep, might have been asleep then. Not that you're fully woken up now and you can't be fully woken. A master teacher is always learning, always waking up. I'm always learning from mission people. Um, then you can you can still stop putting that bullshit excuse of my children on my life. No, they're not your life. You just fuck someone. Anyone, I can fuck my next door neighbour and have a kid. Don't mean all oh, my whole life has gone on someone who I just fucked for uh, like what a five minute or a ten minute something, right? The silliness. It's silliness, and if uh, I'm not here to uh, uh, make friends, I'm here to tell you the truth of the situation. That is. So that 10 minute little shag, you're like changed your entire life on a kid. And read my book. What a fucking responsibility you put on this kid of like, now you are my life. Now I must want you to go and be a solicitor and a doctor and have good results because my life is fucked up now. So I put all that onto the children. Right? This is part of learning on your path. It the one person that's probably listening to me now <laughs> part of your path to know about your happiness the seven of cups this is about casual of your choices yeah i just have a kid David, video. oh my god sorry cool sorry about that Mr. David, uh, okay, although I told him I'm recording, usual, usual, right, so seven of cups, I think I went over that, choosing loads of different options, um, instead of picking one, right, instead of picking the main one, so let's see what else, four of wands, Hanged man came out yesterday. Four of wands, four of wands, king of caps, the hanged man. It's making your version of four of wands stability yours not what other people want and it's very hard to say it in a collective reading like this because you're probably thinking i just want my person and that's it you know they don't have to move in and get married and stuff but literally if they're not coming towards you and you're unhappy with it, and you're unhappy with any element of it, to the point that you're watching tarot or searching for answers, then you're not, it's not on point, it's not correct. Because if it was, then you wouldn't A, be looking at tarot, you're searching for our answers and tarot wouldn't resonate with you. I say to you, I feel like um, with these readings, some of the times, I'm like, I'm not sure if it's resonating because it doesn't resonate with me because I'm not at this level here. It's not really a level. So you wouldn't be watching it because I'm happy with my person. I'm happy with the situation. So this fourth one is about, are you folk, this is about your version of love on fully of what the love of the situation. It's like, yeah, I love this person, so I'm going to have a kid. But do you really love this person or do you know if they really love you? Are you happy to? And also, 
but this is to do with children oh, i just don't know it's like you say your person smokes weed and then you say i'm, I'm pregnant there's just an expectation that the person's going to stop smoking weed. It's like, did you have that conversation? Did you say that they could stop, They once you have kids, they've got to stop going out partying or stop to, hanging out with the lads? It's like this. It's just like really getting down to the nitty gritty of your belief system. There's just this, okay, well, we're together. So it should be a progression of you now expressing love. You now introduce me to your family you now doing the 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 picket fence but all over this reading it's cups it's like the emotional fulfillment does that emotionally fulfill you i always look at massive houses well not always but when i see like films with big houses and etc and i always think to myself even though i mean david talk about having a big house and i'm always thinking to myself I love my flat because if I'm doing the recording, I know he's right there. I love that element. We might not see each other the whole day. He'll be over there doing his stuff. I'll do in mine. But I love the fact that, and that's what this is. It's that emotional connection, not the picket fence. It's not to do with the picket fence at all. The hanged man is, you need to take a new, a 180, a 180, a new perspective on this, your version of commitment. You need to, because this won't move forward. You know your person loves you. <clears throat> focus on that. And focus on how you feel. There's all cups here, emotions with this connection not on the anything else focus on your happiness as i say like which most people say will a piece of paper getting married make me more happier with david because that's what that marriage thing would that piece of paper make me more happy the event might, the day of it might, showing off to people, that's all extra external show off and ego, right? But literally the connection wouldn't make really much difference. So I'm going to love David more because we're married. That's stupidness. How? How does that work, right? This is what this happened. And then, you know, then you, when you get to that point, that's when you reckon, that's when your person wants to marry you codependency it's like you're codependent on an idea of how you want a relationship to work my sister was married I don't know how long to her twin flame and had a kid and no disrespect to her or the twin flame who's passed over upstairs bless his cotton socks but i never ever in the time they were together i think they were together about 15 years maybe longer i don't know went round to their house and saw them chilling watching netflix or anything like that never right and she was married and had a kid but my sister, that's what she wanted. To me, every time my sister come round, which she don't come round a lot, but if she did, and or if anyone knew me and saw me, I'm chilling with David, right? But I ain't got a kid and I'm married. This is this. What do you want? What is your version of happiness? Because if it's a if it's a house and a picket fence, that's a soulmate. That's a soulmate. That's not what this is about. This is about just focusing on what do, did she was like, yeah, I want my person, but I want to be married and have the kid. Like I said, I never in 15 years, and that's a long time, not one time. And I used to go around my sisters a lot. Did I ever catch them like just normal stuff, sitting indoors, watching TV or eating? That never happened. It was a twin flame relationship. That's why. 
You're supposed to focus on what you love. The Ace of Cups. Ten of Cups. These are the most massive, the biggest out of all the cards in the, this deck. Right? This is all about your happiness. Your person makes you happy. Or does the wedding or having a kid with that person. His ego, it's all what the extension of ego. This is what this reading is. You're codependent, right? And thinking, because it's green, and a hut on your heart space, right? That it's love. It's not. That's what this connection teaches you. A shorter reading. I literally tell David, I'll ring you after i finish my readings you always hear you see i get the same stuff he rings during the things right and then he says oh you're recording i'm yeah it's on pause and he still waffles off so like oh, okay i'll call you back he's still i get the same stuff right and look i just get on with it so i have a chat with him and i say listen let me finish the reading in case i forget which i always forget i have the same stuff but you work around it right Please give me, give me time to heal my past pain. This is with the chariot and the hanged man. You're staying in that uncomfortability and you're not moving past it. You need to work. It's like, why is it taking so long? Why is the king, <coughs> the knight of pentacles known as a twin flame, the slowest card in the deck? Because you take so long to heal your past pain. And it does take time. It does take time to get to the concept of what I'm saying. Because many of you, you're like, I don't want my person like that. I don't want to get married. And people say to me, I will say to my person, I don't want to get married. I'm like, I can read that you would die to get married to your person. Right? They can read that as well. They're not stupid. I remember when David was struggling before he moved into his place now, where he was living before, he was getting uh, more depressed. And I said to him, listen, this is really bad, you're looking really depressed. Come stay with me and then you can find somewhere else. Now, I generally meant it, right? But he, he was like, mm, if I move in with you, because that was about two years ago, you'll probably just want me to stay there. I can't see that that's going to, he didn't say this. But probably reading that, you know, when it comes to the time to leave, I might say, well, why are you leaving? We're good here or something like that. They can read this. Whatever you're saying, like, now I just want to see my person. They read that you want more from them, you know, or if you ring them, uh, why can't we meet on a Saturday? And it's just like you just like I just said, David rings. I tell him all the time, I'll ring you because I, I know when I'm done. He rings me and I have to have the phone on because it's for my post right so he rings right can't turn it off because i can't I miss my post because of it that's what i'm saying it, you have to work round and be happy with it open with it don't care about it right not for fuck's sake and why can't you ring when i tell you ring and all this if it bothers you because you're at work what are you doing working in this 3d job anyway right you're supposed to be about freedom so there's a past pain that you have to work on because you're um that pain is in still in this relationship not your person because you're like oh no that's the third party they're still connected to that past pain well what can you do about that right oh your person needs to heal when tower readers say that what can you do about that right oh your person needs to get rid of the third party why are they telling you shit that you can't do nothing about I tell you what's going on with your person situation, but the majority of my readings is what you can do. And good news for you is you're the cups. And cups can be manipulated, manipulation of form. And lucky, good news again, is that you're twin flame, so you can bring that with the chariot person towards you. But as this planet, the principal cause of law, a uh, uh, principal law of cause and effect is that you have to love yourself first. So if you're unhappy with your situation, you're not loving yourself. 
And this contract, unfortunately for you, because you don't like that, you must be in mission first. And I, you might say, oh, fuck off, here she goes with the mission. Okay, let me break this down then. Because if it was for you to be with your person first, then why, once again, I'm going to say it, right? Put in the comments. Put in the comments, right? Why is it that twin flames are not with their person? Because majority of twin flames just go for their person first. So if it is what you're thinking, that fuck off mission, I'm just going to go for my person, then get mission. Most twin flames think that. I didn't because I just followed what they said to me. I didn't even know to do it that way. Then why aren't they with them? That's why this is all about mission. Then you get your person. A mission is to make you a better version of yourself. That's what it does. It makes you follow your bliss. Do what you have to do. Still go for, like, I'm doing, a prime example again, I'm doing what I have to do and still uh, answering the phone to David and then coming back and doing what I have to do, right? You're not doing any of what you're supposed to do. I'm completing mission and still being happy with my person. You're not doing any of it. You're not following your happiness at all. And that's me doing both of it. I regret everything that happened. So an off? Is there an off situation for some of you? Right? Can't tell who this... Is this you? I feel you need to know. What is it then? I feel you need to be at the point that you regret what's happened. That you was doing it the wrong way. Because that's what I do. I'm like, I'm like, fuck's sake, why, do, why did I listen to other people? Why did I listen to tower readers? All the arguments unnecessarily I had with David. And I regret what happened. When you're at that point, you're on point. Not wanting them to say it to you. This is how you, where you got to get to. If you're thinking this card is for your person, you need counselling, right? It's not. Because that's how I always feel. I'm like, fucking hell, I'm so stupid. Why was I saying that? Why? Doesn't make any sense, right? I need to see your children. Why? Why? Why do I need to see his children? I can't even answer that. Can you answer it? You tell me in the comments. Why? Because it's the thing to do. What kind of fucking answer is that? Right? What does that mean? This is these readings. Like, ask yourself why? Right? You need to have a logical explanation of why. There is no logical explanation of why I have to see David's children. I see them in the picture. I'm an empath. I can read them, right? Is this for show so they can go and fuck up his connection with the children to tell baby's mum they met another woman? Why? He, he, he FaceTimes me when he's in the park with them and when he's going out with them. Why do I have to literally, physically, when we're an empath, we know he's connected with the unseen meeting person? Tell me in the comments. That's what I'm saying. Why was I doing so things so fucking stupid, right? If I see them when they're 16, right? Uh, if my mum, this is very important for you lot that might be in my, my situation now. If my mum had a partner... And I never knew that she was with a partner for 16 years, right? And then all of a sudden, I found out about it. I might just say, why didn't you tell me? And I don't even think I would, being the child. I'll be just like, oh, you had it? Oh, 16 years, that's long. Why didn't you say anything? That's it. The children wouldn't give a fuck, really. They wouldn't say, oh, well... I wouldn't say to my mum, oh my gosh, you've had this partner for 16 years on the side all my life. I'm not talking to you again. As David said, this is my life. It didn't affect me what I do with the children, did it? This is what you need to get down to. Focusing on the happiness, not the tradition, the religion, the belief, the codependent of something that you think is close to your heart. That's what your person does, logicate. And that's all, that's what I'm saying. That's what this is about. Like if my mum, if I said that to my mum, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm not going to be interested in connecting with you anymore. You had a secret relationship. And she could say to me, did that secret relationship stop our relationship? No. 
Did I buy you anything less because I had a secret relationship? No. What's my relationship got? To, did it affect you, our relationship? No. That's what this is. Same with the marriage. Same with meeting their parents. Same of that because the moon cards over this reading. It's like what's hidden. That's it. You need help with that? Counselling all day long. Check out the description box. Speak to you later.